Thanks, Jason. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Bingo Show. It's back. We're happy to be with you uh, this evening, this Friday night, live from the penthouse at Canless Restaurant. Jason's been uh, playing for a couple of hours, and um, we just thought, what an incredible way for those of you that are enjoying dinner tonight to just add a little ambiance uh, onto the table or into the room or in a part in your household. Uh, Jason, thank you. You've been um, incredible this entire period, and I'm happy to be back with you all. Folks, we took a break last week uh, to pay attention to all the events that were happening uh, around our city, and they're still happening. They're still going on, and tonight we want to, uh, to do a little bit of both. We want to pay attention to the important work that is happening in our city, the protesters, those that are fighting for equality in our country, and we also want to take a break from what's been a long week. We want to take a break from the headlines, um, from um, what has, what can be tiring or exhausting from either our quarantine or from just the idea that we are uh, constantly plugged into out there. We want you to come together as a family. We want you to play a game. We want to have a little fun. And we're going to be joined um, by an incredible musician tonight. We are uh, pleased to have Thad Cockrell here all the way out from Nashville um, because we believe in the power of laughter and the power of families being together around the dinner table. We believe in the power of music and we hope that this is a restorative time for your family, uh, a time of self-reflection, a time of enjoyment, and otherwise uh, a time that can be a little hard. So we have a, well, we have a bit of a tradition here, and I thought we'd, I thought we'd get back to that tradition, Chris, and I, I, do a little something from the mailbag. Sounds great. Yeah, so um, you know the way this works is we like to send bingo cards out to uh, whoever has ordered something for dinner, and then, of course, you don't have to order something. You could just mail us a postcard, and I got uh, all kinds of postcards uh, and this week and last week, um, and they are, I, I can't tell you what an uplifting, uh, joyful piece of my day they are. You bring me laughter and um, just uh, the encouraging words of the city of Seattle. Um, if I could give you one gift, it would be that all of you read these things. So I'm going to bring a couple to you now. This, um, this one here, uh, dear Canlis family, while you may not be the oldest, you're certainly the best. And I didn't know what he was referring to, but it's uh, the Union Oyster House. Chris was started in 1826, longest concurrently running restaurant in America. I'd say <laughs> it's like 100 and it's a lot older than us, actually. Uh, so anyway, that was, I found that interesting. And then this was cool. Hi, Mark. I was very upset that you did not read my card last time. Uh, so please read this one. And also, can we have five winning bingo cards, please, um, from Zoe. So Zoe, I'm sorry that you got upset. Uh, sometimes we don't get what we want. We can talk about that later. But uh, in fact, we can talk about that right now. Um, we'll talk about that later. E anyway, uh, Zoe gets to stay up late tonight. And so Zoe, I hope you've got some cards. Thanks for that drawing on the back. It was super cool. Dear Canlises, Bingo Night is the best Friday of Corona. I got so stressful when I lost. I threw my bingo card at the at the monitor. Um, and there's a picture of when you lose, and this is a very well. This person's very angry, actually. Uh, so I'm sorry that that was stressful. Um, sometimes, sometimes when we lose, it's stressful. It makes sense. So this was from Miles Jeanette. Miles, thanks for that. He's got a family of five: uh, Jay and Tony and all those. We've got some bingo cards coming away, and hopefully those are winning cards. We're playing a couple of rounds just in a moment here. And then um, I like this one. This came in. Let me see if I can get it open here. It's like my fingers, but in the days of Corona, we don't do that anymore. You're not supposed to touch your face. Dear Canlis, hi, I loved when you came out of the ceiling. Can you do it again? Well, the answer is no. That's a one-time thing. We don't repeat. We don't repeat the entryway. And then, um, oh, and then this. Um, we do bingo every Friday night and never win. Sincerely, Ever Evelyn, P.S. I'm a kid. Um, Piano players are great. And then Evelyn drew me an incredible picture of a salad bowl with ping pong balls, and then there's a canless family meal. And then we have a canless bottle. Can you get a picture of that? Is that, we have a close-up? No, uh, the canless bottle service. Evelyn, you know, uh, we all parent differently in these hard times. Apparently Evelyn has been receiving the canless cocktail kits at home, and uh, we'll have to review some of our Torn and older policies. Um, I think you should keep bingo going even when you open the restaurant again, which is a sweet, Sentiment. Thanks, Nina and Scott, for that encouraging word. Um, 
I'll tell you, I've thought about it, and also we'll have to charge a lot more for bingo, because as a business model, this one is terrible. Uh, this was beautiful. Uh, there's just some carrots. In fact, I actually received a whole series, a carrot series, a watercolor series. A, a few weeks ago, we talked about maybe just using this time to sort of improve ourselves. Pick up a guitar, learn an instrument, pick up watercolor, and, and or paint carrots, yeah. Friday night bingo lights, clear eyes, full daubers, can't lose. Asterix, please don't let me lose again. Which I haven't seen the show, but I don't think the asterisk is a part of the show. Um, you, you can be anything. This is a Christmas card that somebody sent, and um, it's so out of date. Not only is it not Christmas, but they've had the baby four months ago. And then uh, this one, this one here, I thought was incredible. So I just want to finish with this one. I've got a picture here, and um, I've got a lot of pictures, actually. And then, we love playing bingo with you. Can we please have extra bingo cards because our parents are too cheap to buy another meal? My address is, and then, we ha and then we have the address. So, you know, look, you don't have to buy a meal. You don't have to buy a cocktail kit for your children. You can just write us a postcard. It can be any postcard you want. And we are happy to invite you in to Canlis Restaurant. This is uh, the bingo show at Canlis. And uh, we're doing it a little differently today. So um, we have been so pleased and privileged to have so many sponsors sponsor this show. It's super cool. And what we want to do is use the show for good. Um, last week, that was for some incredible uh, organizations fighting uh, racism in this country and fighting for equality. Uh, lots of ways to do that, and we actually raised, a, and you raised an incredible amount of money for that, and I want to thank you for that. Tonight, we've had a couple of sponsors. I've got them here. So uh, tonight, we want to raise money. If you just go to uh, canlis.com forward slash live. It's, uh, all the people behind the cameras are telling me that I did that properly, and then you can uh, click, to click to donate. All of the tips, of course, during the music program of the show uh, will also go to charity. Uh, and tonight we're giving it to, uh, to two organizations, so to Black Lives Matter of King County in Seattle, and then also an organization of Thad Cockrell's choosing. Actually, we're going to hear about that a little bit later on. It's called Youth Impact. They're in Buffalo uh, doing some incredible work um, in the ground, uh, incredible work on the ground in Buffalo, and uh, we always just like to do um, anything we can and I feel like this is uh, I feel like running a bingo show out of a fine dining restaurant is a unique opportunity and uh, we appreciate uh, any way that you can help and support we'll be doing that uh, with you tonight so a couple of donors tonight so Nancy Linden donated $250 uh, to the cause from the Emily program the Emily program is a nationally recognized for its compassionate personalized approach to eating disorder awareness treatment and lifelong recovery. Uh, they have outpatient and residential locations here in Seattle. They've been here uh, established in 1993. You know, we had Opal a couple of weeks ago and now we've got uh, the Emily program. Um, and I'm, I, one of the things I love about this time is uh, my own awareness to the incredible work that folks are doing in Seattle, whether it's around eating disordered or, or uh, disordered eating or racism. Uh, honored to be uh, sponsored by, um, by the Emily program. And then T. Anthony Jewelers. T. Anthony Jewelers has uh, been around ever since his remarkable wife left our company and they started that one. Um, he does custom jewelry and uh, my wife, uh, I propose with one of those beautiful things. I know my brother has bought one. Um, Tyler and Kelly Schultz have donated uh, this evening, not only uh, $500 to charity, but also um, in the first round of bingo, they have donated a $300 gift certi certificate uh, to a custom piece of jewelry of your choosing. Um, I know they do incredible work. Uh, he is a fourth generation jeweler in our city, um, just an, a neat couple, and uh, as a fourth generation restaurant owner, I have a soft spot in my heart for uh, for their story and also for who they are as people, just as trustworthy as can be, and uh, we are honored to be sponsored by them tonight. So, um, you know, that's that's those that's the sponsor portion of our show. And and without th further ado, I think we need to get on to sort of some of the fun stuff. I want to welcome a good friend of mine, uh, an incredible uh, musician and a remarkable man. His name is Thad Cockrell. He flew out here on a last minute whim to be a part of our show. He'd heard about it in Tennessee. Thad, welcome to the bingo show at Canlis. Uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, you uh, we're going to we're going to hear a live performance from Thad Cockrell tonight. We're going to we're going to hear so something from you right now. Is that it's right? So good and to be then here. Yeah. I'm looking at the view, and <clears throat> when I was making my album, I lived out in in uh, Venice in L.A., and I just I love Nashville. The people in Nashville, incredible. 
It is not the most beautiful it's a, it's place. You don't have, it's not quite. And I'm, I'm looking around, I'm like, God, I really need to live in a place that's beautiful. But I it's feel just like if, if you had a here. tall ladder in Nashville, if you just got up high enough, you would have something almost like, like this. Maybe. No. Maybe really tall. Okay, maybe not. I haven't been. Thank a lot. you, though. Yeah. I appreciate. I appreciate. You have good food, Nashville. Incredible coffee we do scene. Have remarkable people. Incredible and, people. And we yeah. talk about the music. Yeah, the best of people. Yeah, so. the best of people. You're one of them, my friend. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thrilled to have you. So, um, here's how we're gonna do it. Just, it'd be cool if you could play a couple of songs, yeah. and then and then could we play some bingo. Is that right? And then Let's we'll finish with a set. Uh, maybe yeah. some stuff off your new album. You got an album coming. When are you gonna drop this album? On? It's a couple weeks away. Is that yeah, right? uh, June 26th. It comes out. It'll be available on all streaming platforms. And you could also buy it, which, you know, makes a big difference. So. The name of the album yeah. is uh, In Case You Feel the Same. Yeah. And uh, I'm really excited. Thanks. Uh, we've been talking about it, so really excited to hear from you. Here's the latest single that we have just released. It's called Higher. Is Jason going to join us? We can, we, can we get Jason Cold back on here? Is that, is that possible? Wait, hold oh, on yeah. a second. Yeah? Jason, do you know, you know this song, yeah? You can play anything. So this is a song <laughs> we just released. It has uh, my friend Brittany Howard. Uh, you might know her. She's the uh, lead singer in the Alabama Shakes, and I'm just a huge fan of her. And she uh, made the incredible gift of, of lending me her, her spirit and her voice on this song, and uh, a song called Higher, made for times like this. I'm gonna lift you higher I'm gonna lift you higher I'm gonna lift you higher When I'm feeling low I'm gonna lift you higher Higher and higher I'm gonna lift you higher When I'm feeling low Thank you Thank you I've known defeats and I've known doubts, but I never went without. Thank you. Thank you. I've traded in my certainty, but you showed up in the mystery. I'm going to lift you higher. I'm going to lift you higher. I'm going to lift you higher. When I'm feeling low, I'm going to lift you higher, higher and higher. I'm going to lift you higher. When I'm feeling low, heartbreak, it's hard to shake this heartbreak. It's hard to take and sorrow. I've come to know this sorrow will come and go. Thank you. Thank you. I've got debts that I can't pay. And when I do not know the way, thank you. Oh, thank you. And when there's nothing left, when there's nothing left to see up I'm gonna lift you higher I'm gonna lift you higher I'm gonna lift you higher When I'm feeling low I'm gonna lift you higher Higher and higher I'm gonna lift you higher We, we went through it one time. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah. That's off the new album, yeah? It is. I heard a story about that album. Can we, can we tell it right now? Sure. Is it true? So, we, so I heard a story. You and I were talking yeah. earlier up on the roof. Yeah. Looking out of the view. Will you talk a little bit about what it was like? You said, I want to set out to make an album that is with people who are not like me, who don't think like me, don't look like me. Yeah. We have different beliefs. 
and out of that comes this this current album what what was that like well i think as a creative what i've learned over my my life is that um usually intention is a really powerful thing and i've learned that what you put on in the end like what you do on the front side often will come back to you on the on the back side right yeah, so yeah. with my my band leagues there was like three words that we held really dear and we didn't tell anybody but everything that we did had to go through the lens of those three words right and it was so wild we didn't tell anyone but it was so wild when we go when we play shows people would come to us those and they would use up. those exact three yeah. words yeah. and they're not common they're not. I hope this isn't a test tonight because you know? I'm like wondering what three yeah, words I'm no. gonna like. Are we gonna give but, them to us or I have But to the wait? idea that I carried that into this was I wanted to make a record with people that didn't look, think, and believe like me. Yeah. Um, because I think if we can, if we can make something, uh, I think oftentimes I can't speak for us, but uh, I can surround myself with sameness, and there's never any unity in sameness. Yeah. Unity comes from. Uh, incredible gift of of difference and we all believe different things and my thought was like maybe if we all came together and made something beautiful together maybe on the other side of that the people that we would see that would fill the rooms might not look like think like and you know yeah. uh, be like each other and to me I think that's what great art does and I'm not saying I <laughs> I'm doing that, but I think it's something you strive for, right? No, but I mean, you talk about the tension and like how how sometimes you need that tension to produce what's great. And I feel like yeah. I feel like that's true in all of our lives, yeah. right? If it's all easy, then maybe we're not being pushed. Maybe we're not being stretched in those right. kinds of ways. And uh, we got to think about what we think about in those ways, right? Yeah. So we need people to pull us out of yeah out of that uh, out of that comfort zone. You got you got one more for us. For I do play a little so, bingo. Here's a song called uh, "Slow and Steady." Um, yeah. I got a call and <laughs> I just messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you the other night down the street you were walking. And I remember when I held you tight I felt like a millionaire And you were laughing and carrying on The sky was pink and yellow And I'm okay but it hurt you're gone I just took a deep breath and stared I'll get over you in time I'm not ready I'll get over you in time Slow and steady I got a call in the middle of the night So I drove to Oklahoma And I was there by the morning light You were a beautiful Indian queen And I remember when I was a kid you were always there for the loving And then I watched you drift away I just took a deep breath and cried I'll get over you in time I'm not ready I'll get over you in time Slow and steady I'll get over you in time I'm not ready I'll get over you in time And it stole my nights and days It still steals my nights and days And if I ever wanted a new one I've got to let go of the old one But it's so hard to say goodbye I just took a deep breath and sighed I'll get over you in time I'm 
not ready I'll get over you in time Slow and steady I'll get over you in time Ladies and gentlemen, that's Thad Cockrell. Just if you're joining us now, this is a Canlis Bingo Show live from the penthouse at Canlis Restaurant. And we're just about to play a little bingo. Thad, if we can invite Let's you to come it. over to uh, the other side this of the studio. To, um, so was that was that off the, well, off the new album? It I, is if off. in case you feel the same, right? Thad's album comes out just in a couple of weeks here. And uh, if you, again, if you're just tuning in, we are uh, spending the night playing a little bingo, listening to some music, uh, raising some funds to fight racism in this country uh, through Black Lives Matter Seattle and through uh, the neat work that's happening out in Buffalo through Youth Impact. Uh, so feel free to tip tonight. All of that is going to go to charity. And uh, but right now we're going to play some bingo. And I don't know, Thad. We're going to we're actually going to we put a mic on you. We get a we'll get another mic for you because oh, yeah, we got some we're pretty fancy here. So uh, maybe we're getting Thad mic uh, getting Thad mic tip. Do you think... Should we go over the rules? Should we go over the rules? I feel like it's, it's been a couple of weeks since we yes, played, yes. and I feel like that might be a good place to start. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I think people have a, uh, now have a, a cachet of bingo cards at their disposal. Well, there's, a, there's a couple of weeks worth, right? So yeah. these games could go quickly, which is worth noting. So you're going to want to have the phone number at your... At, at the ready. Which I know I do. <laughs> Which one did you bring tonight? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, you know, it's just the, the rustic version of the prop. But uh, yeah, again, if you are playing bingo with us tonight, remember, uh, once you get that bingo, uh, five numbers and letters in the uh, five in a row, upwards, downwards, diagonally, please take a picture of the winning bingo card and text it to 480-702-1978. And the, our very own Brian Camlos is standing by to uh, witness your winning bingo card. So um, we're going to do two rounds tonight. So that's with uh, fresh cards both times. So you can uh, uh, judiciously, as however you'd like, you're going to play all your cards in the first round, all your cards in the second round, uh, however you want to do it. Split them up. Split them up, up to you. If you want. Sure. Do you remember a lot that of cards uh, out there? So we have uh, that $300 gift card for the first round, right? We do. Yeah. yeah. So this is to uh, to T. Anthony Jewelers, and um, you know it's not going to get you a 10 karat diamond, but it's a head start on a nice little. Uh, you know, here's the thing with with a pandemic. There's a lot of romance there. People are getting puppies. People are dating. I just feel like. I feel like jewelry would go a long, a long ways right now. So there, it's, very long it's ways. a head start. Yeah. We're also you're also winning, of course, a, a box of vegetables. A yeah, box. it's a CSA box. It's a community sport of agriculture. There's some of our so favorite some farms that we just like. It. it is some of the best produce you can get in Washington. So. And, uh, and stay tuned because we do have another special prize for the uh, second round, which we'll discuss later. We'll discuss that later. We'll discuss yeah. later. So, uh, so Thad, if if you would, sir, if you could. Um, if you could give those uh, ping pong balls a good, good old fashioned Nashville stirring. Yeah, that's a Nashville stirring. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't. Mm -hmm. Which sounds like the name of a band, really. But uh, okay. Nashville stirring. Go ahead and uh, first, kick us off. What do you have one? there? What's that first? What do you have for the first one? Well, there you go. This feels nostalgic almost. It, it, <laughs> I-18 is your back. first number. I-18. I-18. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <sighs> I-18. Bingo night here at Canlis. I hope you've got your daubers ready. I hope you've got those. All right. We've got our new double-sided tape at the ready. You know, you know. here's the thing. I didn't read that postcard, but somebody actually mailed us the sweetest letter and then inside said, hey, I understand you need some new double-sided tape. So um, we, we were reusing double-sided tape for the first seven episodes, and now we have eight. A fresh, episodes, yeah. fresh tape. Yeah, it feels good. It does. It feels it like does. a new, turning over a new leaf. So, is it, does it feel a little quiet? It, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Did Jason know really plays music during this? But, uh, I mean, it's up to him. Uh, yeah, he, he left for that song, like, and then he left Jason. Do you think we could get that? It was such a beautiful We're totally rusty. It's been only, we only took one week off, and I feel like we're doing this brand new for the very first time. So, uh, oh, Jason, we'd love to have you back on the show. 
Uh, I just feel like I just need a like the, the I was going to start <laughs> scatting while you guys talked. <laughs> Bye, yeah, yeah, die, yeah. Uh, that, that also <laughs> works. Da, 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 yeah, totally. No, that, yeah. that totally works. Uh, that, okay, I think we're ready. There we yeah. go. We got Jason going. Better. We okay. got the I first feel, ball. Yeah. I feel better. Thank you. Because I-25 is the next number. I-25. That sets the mood right there. That is nice. I-25, I-18. And we actually, we've got some more cameras going on this week. Are we, yeah, the it's fancier, the, it's the warmer. The production value is really improved yeah. over, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's impressive. Go wow. ahead and just say it out loud, yeah. <laughs> You're impressed with our own production value. I am, I'm, I'm a little warm, yeah. actually, with the, <laughs> yeah. with the new lights. So, uh, I-19 is going to be your next I number. I-19, I-18, I-19, I-25. It's a very narcissistic run here. It's all about, it's all about I. Oh, we're, we're going, uh, yeah, uh, we're just going to straight down the I. This are you, is gonna are make you stirring some, those, or are you just picking out the eyes? This is going to make someone happy. Okay. I know. All right, do it. N35. 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 As a reminder, folks, you're going to take a photo of the winning bingo card as soon as you have it. Text it to my brother, who's just sitting over there in the lap of luxury. He's got his sweatpants the lap on of luxury. tonight. He's wearing his bingo shirt, and he's just out of the heat of the spotlight. <laughs> What's the shortest amount of, of balls that you guys have I don't done, even know. That, I would have to watch reruns. That's that bingo, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I just, uh, There's been some quick ones. Yeah. But uh, G56 is going to kind of throw a... Uh, the G56 little... on it. G56. Just made somebody happy. Oh. Oh, no. What was that? Thad, are you... Um, you play a lot of bing bingo in, in Nashville? Is that a thing out there? I, I don't. Let me tell you the last time I played bingo, though. Oh, I, don't know. I was in Montana, and I went to the state fair. Really? And, yeah, I was two or three beers in, and I, <laughs> yeah. I bellied up to a table between people that uh, I was. I squeezed through. Was there a thick cloud? <laughs> there was a <laughs> thick cloud, and, um, and I won it. I no, got, I won no, bingo. you're oh, kidding. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is bingo like darts where it takes a beer and a half even to I get actually, good? Is I actually that... won $25. Really? Wow. That's right. Congratulations. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're being uh, co-hosted bingo tonight by a man who's won bingo himself. Not That's right. Not a lot right. of people watching tonight can say that, but uh, you are... Actually, we've, we've, had other, we've had other hosts. Bingo winners, yeah, you know? Yeah, we've had other bingo winners, yeah. There's a few of us around. Well, B1, B1. to our next bingo Ooh. winner. Perhaps it's crucial. We'll find out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What do you have there? This one was calling. It was. <laughs> it's calling your name. Yeah. <laughs> let's, do, let's hear it. 067. That's 067. That's that's your name. 067. 067. And and uh, get into the next number. And please, Dad, remember. You don't necessarily need to cherry pick. You go ahead and uh, <laughs> hustle. No, <laughs> hustle the, uh, the, the, the go ahead. Crowd that's there. right. That's I, I'm trying to switch up the, letters. Yeah, I can yeah, see no, the letters, that. and I don't. I want to. I want to like switch it up. You know, as if he knows the cards that are out there. You oh, know? I don't. But, but maybe he's got. Is this a, a conspiracy? Do you know it is a conspiracy. I have some. I have some intel. I've got a bug in my ear, and some people are saying this is what we need. N34. N. N34 is what someone needs. N34. 67, B1, Deep. N34, G56. Mark them all off, folks. We're just going to... Here we are. We're going to get through two rounds tonight. N32. 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 Cheers to N32. Cheers to N32. Cheers. All right. We, um... Man, if things don't work out, can I... You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> Trust it. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> the land of left day jobs. Welcome to the bingo show at Candlest Restaurant, where <laughs> none of us actually know the future. And by... Yeah, exactly. By the future, we mean the next 10 minutes from now. By, yeah. Yes, that is what we mean. G54 is your next it was that. There's something about that postcard that said, when the restaurant reopens, will you keep playing bingo? And in my back of my head, I was like... Right, we may never get to that stage, but if we're allowed to, we're gonna, we're gonna we'll do find it. Out. Yeah. 065. 065. Oh, wow. 065. Oh, 065. Oh, 65 is the next one. What you got in there, then? You are, you're a taker from the top. I noticed. Well, you just, you know, you've already stirred them, and yeah, it's true. It's Jeez, not like I the odds this going was, down. I didn't know. I thought it was judgment-free zone. You know, I'm just over here picking. The, <laughs> no judgment. You know, no, that's the chat. Up, up in the chat is it. judgment-free zone. Here at Canlis Bingo, we have, we have some rules around. Okay, well, I trust you. G60. G60. They were the president thought uh, there were a bunch a of salad. terrorists in it's Seattle salad, this week. Um, <sighs> I, don't know. I don't know what to. I don't know what to think about it. Did you, did you read about that in Nashville? What's that? President Trump didn't like our protesting. Called them terrorists. You know. 
Now, <laughs> we're all speechless. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, th go ahead. I don't wanna slow up the There's a game. lot of things that Trump doesn't like, but there's a lot of things that he does. Here's the thing. How's <laughs> I served in the military, <laughs> and I've been to the chest. Two things I bet President Trump can't, can't actually say. <laughs> Those aren't terrorists, Mr. Trump. Yeah, no, but, uh, you know. Brian, uh, we got Brian checking bingo right now. We could, is it true? Do we have, we potentially have, have we I already have a bingo. Have a bingo. Well, this could be the, actually the shortest game of bingo we've, ever, we've already wow. played. Yeah, wow. for real. Absolutely. We have a bingo. You have won a box of vegetables. You have won eggs. The best eggs probably you've ever had. And the gift card to Canlis the Game Show. Sorry, I, yeah. You it's also won a gift card to Canlis Restaurant when we become a restaurant again. Can they use those for dinners to go? That's what I want to know. Do we even know how to use gift cards with dinners to go? Have we figured that out yet? Uh, yes. We can, uh, Stay tuned yeah. for <laughs> when we talk okay. to Quan the accountant on Medium Monday morning. Plus. Maybe you can use it for a gift card to go. You could buy a cocktail kit for your family. But did you see they actually... And then, a, Nick, Brian, do we have a name? Because uh, and then they've won a gift certificate to to T. Anthony Jewelers. Yeah, so, four so winners. We've got diamonds coming your way. It's amazing. Wow. Five winners. We have wow, five, five winners. Well, we have five bingos, but we only have one winner. I think the last show we did, a, we did a second place prize. Oh, we did. Oh, oh do we have something lined up for that? Well, we didn't plan it out, but I okay. say for the next for the next round, why don't we do a second place Six prize winners. also? You know what I'm saying? We have five winners, so it's all about getting that photo in as fast as you possibly can. As we do every week on the show, we're just waiting for my younger brother, Brian, to get us the name so we can move on to the next one. I'm happy to report that, um, you know, Thad, you and I have this in common. We both have brothers that went into the church, went into ministry. Yes. I, it, later on the show, I want to ask you about your brother. Um, I, am, I am pleased to be joined by both my brothers. I'm the middle brother. Are you, are you the... I'm the youngest. You're the youngest. Okay. Yeah. Brian's the youngest. But my older brother's here tonight. He came right. over celebrating his 24th anniversary from Wenatchee. Yes, congratulations. They had, they had takeout dinner on the roof. Congratulations. Patrick. Patrick. Patrick, congratulations. Patrick, you have won. Patrick, if you're the guy that texted us, you have won. We'll contact you later and figure out how to get you something in a time of a national pandemic but, and civic unrest. But what, what's it? 11 winners. So Patrick was the, was the winner's name? Patrick was the winner. Patrick, you've got... It's it. creepy that they... They had already written his name on the card. What? Yeah. Wow. That is kind of creepy. They knew he was going to be is, the bingo that winner. Is, that is, do you do sleight of Spooky. hands all the time? Spooky. Is this a, a side act? I just, you don't there. believe there's not aliens. <laughs> Think again, going my on, friend. But Patrick, congratulations. You, you know what's really we've fun? We've had a lot of time on our hands here while we've been making. What's well, fun? Talk about is, it. Mark, when you're when you're talking, yeah. uh, whether you know it or not, you're speaking. You're in the same key as the piano. You're talking oh, in the key. No, as, no. We, as not only do I realize it, but Jason and I are here for hours every morning I as the sun it. comes up. I and think we it's do great. Kind of a thing. I think actually I just speak and Jason is so talented say, he can no, actually he make me sound Secretly, good. When, when, yeah. Before all this started, Jason would, um, his tempo would be the same as me shaking cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was yeah. amazing. Could you shake a cocktail? I I shake, he would pick in, up on my tempo. Like, yeah. yeah. Wow. It was like pretty that. amazing. He's your yeah. tempo. You're his tempo, man. For real. Mm -hmm. For real. You all know right. how like a barber can make you, make you look good? A, a, a good piano player can make you sound good. You want to know uh, a little trivia about, I gave myself this haircut last night. I'm on haircut number five. <laughs> I do the whole thing and then, and then my wife, Anne Marie's got to do the back because I like, I can't, I can't get around. You know what I'm saying? I could show you the back, it's a lot longer in the front, but I'm on my fifth home haircut and I may never go back. Hmm. Paul, my favorite hairstylist, if you're watching. Sorry, Brian said we gotta keep going. Okay, <laughs> uh, I love you, Paul. Okay. Open up, so we come back. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to work into round two of bingo. And, so uh, fresh cards. Get this thing. So fresh cards. Those fresh losers. Prize. What was what was her name? Where she threw them at the monitor? Fresh box of vegetables. I don't remember her name. But yeah, well, don't throw it at the monitor. It's okay. Don't throw it at the monitor. Just recycle them, compost them, whatever. I think they are compostable. Uh, but we're going to round two. So fresh if you're cards. Angry? Just tweet out something with typos on it. <laughs> you can stoop it. If you I want. eighteen. Uh, I eighteen, ladies and gentlemen. Number. This is round two of Bingo Night at Canlis. I eighteen. We're gonna no, just tweet typos. Oh wait, to the I world. have something extra. Something extra for oh, us. we do. Yeah. No, so we were gonna give away. Can we talk about this right now? I, I, I think so. The yeah. Deal. Yeah. Yeah. Let's explain can it. I, which camera is actually? Okay. So uh, here's what we're gonna. Yo, know, we've been doing a lot of things here at Canlis Restaurant. Uh, one of them is coming up with our own line of merchandise. And uh, some of you, a lot of you, have written about these in postcards. A lot of you have. So the, to the to the winner, we're gonna send you our very own no dress code Canlis sweatpants. Mm. These are about as 
cheap and flimsy feeling as you'd expect from a $28 pair of sweatpants, but they'll make you happy because they've got candles written on the bottom. I don't think we've ever put our name on something that's quite at that level, but I wear them at home and so do all my kids. It's a lot of fun. We're also gonna send you uh, home with um, an I Love Bingo shirt, which I think is appropriate for those of you that have been playing every week and dedicating your Friday nights of this pandemic to a bingo show. Mark, can I, throw, then, can I throw one more special yeah, item would in? You, would you? I, we, so, you know, uh, you with, with white tablecloths and the like, we do have lovely cutlery. Um, and people want us to buy their cutlery when we reopen. <laughs> That's right. So, oh my goodness, uh, I forgot about this. To the winner of the next round, I have a golden <laughs> so, butter knife. Wait, Chris, it's, true, it's true that this was actually suggested, this is, uh, as we, when we were talking about reopening, what is fine dining going to look like after the pandemic? We've had a suggestion to change the silverware at Canvas. Yeah. To, to gold. 40, 43 carats. This is for. This, this 4.3 carats. This is going to be point 43 <laughs> carats. Oh, yeah. We don't yeah. actually know if there's any gold on this sample butter knife, but you will be the winner of the world's goldest butter knife. And uh, it's actually, I think it's actually a dinner knife. It's a little wide, a little long, and a little sharp to butter knife, but you can use it however you choose. Yeah. Here it's at Camelot, we call that a dinner knife. Right here. Fingerprint. We'll buff that off before, yeah. before we send it to you. So not only do you get the t shirt and the sweatpants, but you get the a sample knife that we have absolutely no use for but whatsoever. I imagine they do. And okay, so, so kicking it off with I-18. And moving into B-10 B to follow up. I think second place should also get a pair of sweatpants and also get a t-shirt tonight. Do we have any more butter knives? <laughs> I don't think we have any more butter knives, but right. let's do that. Second, right. pl second place. The sample kit didn't come with like a fork or a spoon, maybe. Or Did they just, they just sent you a knife? <laughs> I don't know. It's on, it was on Brian's desk, and I found it. I was like, what in the world are we going to do with that? There we found was the right, no... We found the correct application. You know who I think has gold <laughs> knives and is... Anyway, okay. Wait, I want to know. Enough yeah. Trump jokes already, but... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> o sixty six is your place next number. Send that other. O sixty six. Pretty soon, yeah. I think we're going to be getting tweeted at I'm, from I'm, the White House. I am overstepping my stay in my lane. I'm being told. Okay, here we go. Uh, so uh, zero O sixty six B ten I eighteen O sixty three O sixty three O sixty three. Thank you. It's good to have Jason back on the key. G fifty four G fifty four. Go make somebody happy. You know it. I know it. Hope so. B two. <laughs> that B two. The next number. So I think it's worth mentioning the last minute nature with which you re uh, miraculously sa saved us by flying out here. Did you think a couple days ago that you would be in Seattle, standing here in the penthouse at Canlis, playing bingo? <laughs> was that at all on your radar? Here, here's what's crazy. I was watching. I was. I couldn't go to sleep the night before. I talked. It was you or Brian. I forget who. You're I think it was Brian. Brian. And I'm watching like the the stuff that you guys have been doing the bingo nights. Yeah, and yeah. I'm thinking, how do I snake my way into <laughs> it's this? It's not true. I'm not. Come promise on, you. really? I promise you. The next morning, I'm what? I'm having coffee and I get a, a text from Brian. It's like, hey, what do you think about coming to to? Wait, wait, I know, I know there are no night. concerts and stuff. I was with, like, with, no, with no, the, no, you gotta be kidding me. Phase 1.5. But is the music industry to the point where talented musicians are watching bingo in Nashville and and actually? Are, are there other musicians that would do this? Do you think we could? Are there any friends in Nashville we can call? Oh, there's a lot of friends. There's okay. a lot of friends. All right. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's let's talk yeah. about it. Because musicians, there's not a musician in work right now. Like like there's That's no work. That's so hard. That's what they've all said. Yeah. It's just we got impossible. we we got the the one and only right back here. We got Jason's holding down the fort. We're gonna recap real quickly recap. here. Beginning with I18, B10, O66, O63. G54, B2, and new to the party for this round is G49. G49. Knock the camera right Exquisite over. Exquisite numbers. Yeah, yeah right? indeed. Exquisite numbers. Indeed. It, it is uh, a time when you feel thankful for a job. I'll, I will tell you that much. As much as we joke about sort of, you know, doing a bingo show or doing a delivery, uh, I can't tell you how what a privilege has been to just have the lights on, a lot of lights tonight. Uh, and I feel so supported by the city. So if I haven't said that enough to Seattle, thank you for continuing to support what we're doing here. It is, uh, it is a privilege. It's an honor. Absolutely. And uh, moving in uh, to the, the, more of that is 061. <laughs> it's a bad, bad segue. More, more of, more of more, bingo. I don't know. Yeah, more bingo. Okay. I'm, I'm so pleased to be here as well. It's, uh, it's weird to be thinking this would be like, when you, our second turn will be starting right now. 
we would normally just be running around like crazy, yeah. getting all excited with the second turn, changing tables. The wine team would have the light on, signaling that they're just going down in flames. Chef would be, I don't know, back in the kitchen doing what he does. And James would be mildly times. angry. When you log in, when you clock in at Candlemas, how many different clock ins do you have? You, you're a man of many talents in this restaurant. I think with the new, with you know, the seven or eight new concepts, I think I'm probably up to like 14. 14 yeah. different, yeah. 14 oh. different job codes. And, and Bingo host now, co-host is, co is now one of them, which I couldn't be more proud of. And I-27. I-27. To, uh, to make that statement further home. Just a reminder, if you're just tuning in, this is Bingo Night at Candlemas. Takes five in a row. That free space is a, is a gift from us. It's a gift from the people that invented bingo. It's just to encourage the game along is what it is. Use that free space in the center. What do you have there? G56. 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 Thad, how'd you learn how to sing? What's, what's the story there? I don't, even, I don't even know that. We've known each other a long time, but I, I have not asked you that question. How did I learn how to sing? Yeah, like how, <clears throat> like how I always wanted to. I mean, Church. No way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it's not like I grew up singing in church yeah but uh, kids actually don't they just kind of hum along while they look at their parents like are you singing yeah. are we singing are we doing this as a family yeah. kind of yeah but i i became i i my favorite meal of any or uh, my favorite meal of any service was always <laughs> <laughs> actually, talk about it. no that was i said that correctly my my favorite meal of every service was the music hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. you did say that correctly yeah that's awesome yeah that's awesome yeah wow it's wow. good to know well, N34. N34. In a voice that's not quite as good as Thad's, but yeah. you know, I'll do my best. Oh, you got a wonderful voice. Could you guys sing together, maybe a song later on? So, yeah. Do you Is that sing? Possible? Oh yeah. You oh, do music. Ter oh, he's talented. Terribly. <laughs> I don't have the incredible. The, 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 the least two, the the least two musical sing. people on the planet are standing next to you tonight. All the guys behind the camera, the sound team, they all have bands and stuff. The two of us, <laughs> no, we don't. You don't want us to sing. A couple more apple spreads on my like karaoke, but you know. Yeah. Oh, 71. I have a guitar, and I made it a goal to learn a song during the pandemic on my guitar. I'm a very slow learner. But in like in like the way I kind of picture this is one day you'd come out and join it and I'd actually get to play along with you. But we're not we're not to that point. <laughs> but Jason did that with this. We'll get there. One day, yeah. Soon. Then G60. G60. Moving into G60 is your next number. I would be wow. so terrified to actually sing in public or play. Oh, this one I can tell we're gonna get bingo on this one. What are you words? I'm calling okay, it. Here we go. You're calling it. Yeah. O seventy three. O seventy three. The winning number, according to Thad. According to Thad Cockrell, that could be the winning number. Double o check. O seventy three. We had G sixty. We had O seventy one. We had N thirty four. We had G fifty six. You should have those. Mark down on your papers, folks. The competition is somebody's fast not, and furious somebody's tonight. Somebody's not paying attention to their turn the notepad. To their because cards, there's no. a winner out there. It's going to come back in just but a second. But anyways, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. G forty eight. G forty eight. Mm. I'm really enjoying this this new double sided tape. Is, it's it's, so nice. it's an upgrade. I did uh, I did an eighth grade graduation last night. We played a little bingo for the eighth grade graduation. Wow! With, with the old double sided tape, it wasn't working at all for me. Oh. It was a disaster, actually. Well, we've replaced it. That so postcard came in perfect time. <laughs> N35. 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 Everyone we're getting a. Wow. I feel like we're getting a full full uh, board. We really game. are. Got a, a crowded pedestal there. Oh, dang. Oh, dang, go. dang. That's I got all right. it. I got, okay. it. I got to keep a distance. There you go. B11. B11. Is Folks, it's for all the marbles, number. for all B the vegetables, all the bok choy you could possibly stir fry. This is going to be a remarkable. I'm partial to B12. Here's, you know, myself. here's the thing about the CSA kits. When we started this thing, joke? it was early, early spring, kind of. And now we're in like, now the box is just. We're in the throes. We're in the throes yeah. of what we grow best here in Washington State. So, although. <clears throat> we don't grow any grapefruit. Did you hear about that one? No. My friends in Wenatchee were like, hey, if you get a chance, tell Mr. Inslee we don't grow any grapefruit. Did, you didn't hear about that? I did not hear about it. Nope. All those farmers out there working hard, mm -hmm. the ones that actually support us that don't always get supported the same way back. My shout out to my friends out in Wenatchee. Keep it going. We need you out there. Oh, man. Yeah, I think you said uh, thanks to all the Washington farmers for that. Grapefruit. Interesting. We don't. We, we do pears and yeah, apples. apples and yeah, hops. Yeah. 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 Asparagus. I twenty one. I twenty one. I twenty one. I think I'm. We all make mistakes. Gonna rearrange here a little bit. Running out of room. 
Okay. Yeah. How's there no we Brian? So that's got one lined up for you, right? I, I'm I'm shocked that we actually haven't had a winner yet. So it's I twenty one is the final one, and then uh, coming up mm. could be G forty seven. G forty seven. G forty seven. We have to do the the double stack now, aren't we? Well, I think with the new double sided tape, it's stable enough. I can put them on top. Oh, yeah, sure. I think it's going to be good. Okay, I think it should work just V6 is going to oh, be that wow. first. Oh, wow, that's going to be the move right there. Right? That's Look at Jenga. That. Yeah, oh. that's, 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 that's some Seattle bingo moves right there. You don't see that in the state fairs that's in bingo Montana. Bingo Jenga right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so just as a reminder, we have some people calling the phone. It doesn't really work that way. Oh, we need a text. My gosh. We need a, they we need probably won photo, way back when when I said they won. A photo of that winning bingo card is the best way to win. Otherwise, I mean, there's a lot of anxiety. Have you ever, like, listened intently, at, like, on a radio show? And like being like, oh, they're giving away tickets to a concert, and you just have that number like ready to go. Yeah. No, yeah. And they yeah. just keep getting a busy signal. Have it's... you ever won anything on the radio? Uh, okay, funny story. Uh, I, I did indeed. They answered. There was a very esoteric question about a very esoteric movie, and I knew the answer. What was the What was the question? No the one answer? on staff is surprised to hear this story right now. This you is knew true. The, this is true. You knew the answer was, uh, to a very esoteric question. What was the name? It was a movie about Einstein with Walter Matthau and Tim Robbins, and it was IQ. And it was like a rom com, you know, in the '90s. But uh, my neighbor Doug called and gave the answer, and he got the free pizza, and I didn't. Oh, wow. It's very scarring for us as an 11-year-old young man. story. Guy. These are hard times for a sad story like that. I was thinking it was going to be an uplifting. Give us another bingo ball. Somebody Let's see send can... this man a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make up for lost time here. I'm sure there is a winner. We have some difficulties. So keep stalling. We're experiencing technical difficulties. This <clears throat> just in for my brother. He would like me to talk about anything sort of filibuster the moment right now because we're having some te technical difficulties. We may have a winner right now, so we're not gonna pull another bingo card just yet, another bingo ball just yet. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna talk about, I, <laughs> I was not prepared for this you more whatsoever. Trauma, you know, you know my, last uh... time I had like facts about esoteric animals that have been mailed to us and, and we were showing, I, I feel unprepared for the- What for is the... your favorite like uplifting thing that you've heard over the last week? Um, I'll tell you this, I was on a call uh, with a uh, former coach of the Huskies, Lorenzo Romar, listening to his thoughts about what was happening, um, not just on Capitol Hill or in Seattle, in our country, around the world. I was so encouraged, I was so impressed with him, I was so taken by his uh, compassion and his wisdom and his uh, sincerity and um, and his hope, frankly. And here you have uh, a man who has uh, grown up and um, in a country that did not treat him the same way. And he, um, I don't know, he just spoke to my soul in, in ways that said, we can put this thing back together. And I was, I was so impressed with him. Uh, another gentleman, Jason Hamilton, was on that, who has done uh, commentary for the, the Washington Husky basketball team. I was just, man, if I could record that and send it out to the world, I feel like we'd all... It, it, I'm reminded that so many of us want the exact same things, and it's so easy to get distracted with, um, with the periphery. Uh, yeah. But at the core of it, you know, if, we, if we're careful not to throw the baby out with the bathwater, I think there's so much hope out there right now, and we're building something better. And we don't know how to do it. We don't. We don't. No. No one's doing it perfectly. But uh, I'm encouraged with those that have the guts to try. And and uh, and if I'm totally honest, I hope we're counted among them. So. We have a winner. Oh, thank you, uh, <laughs> thank you, because we're in. taking it, we're taking it down the street here, and I need to. Camera, uh, yeah, for real. It's my fault. I got logged out of the thing, and I couldn't get back in. You have one job. It turns out that someone <laughs> won about nine minutes ago. Oh no, you're kidding. Uh, yeah, and we have about sixty-four winners. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I and thought I'm this really game was sorry. taking yeah, so, long. Taking so long. And you're over there like dicky 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 on your computer. And I'm like, what are you doing? Wrong window. Uh, Me so many people meanwhile, have been winning. Brian's texting his wife. He's like, honey, how you doing? He's like, oh, I'm <laughs> watching my brother. Martha to... and Max. Martha, Martha and Max. Max. We want to congratulate yeah, you. Martha and Max. Martha and Max won on the you sixth know what bingo ball. ball. I think it was I one that you called it then. I think I called it. I think you might have called it. Did, did Thad call the, 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 the? He might have called it. That, wait, hold on. If Martha Woo! can just text if Thad actually called the ball, I would so love sorry. to know that. Um, 
<laughs> well, you know. You know what's amazing is we weren't even that good in the beginning, and now we're so rusty we can barely pull together two winning bingo rounds. But um, well, to easy. Martha and to Max, we have the goldest dinner knife in your collection. You guys we are have, love it. Um, we have sweatpants, no dress code, sweatpants coming your way. We have a t-shirt. We have an incredible box um, of, uh, of, of uh, <laughs> grapefruits. There will be no grapefruits. <laughs> Unfortunately, we only feature food from farms right around here. And so an incredible box of produce coming your direction. Um, here's the thing. Here's what I'd love to do. And this is why I, I, we've, we've switched up the format of the show just a little bit. Thad, I, I want to finish with you. I know you have, uh, you, I know you could sing all night, but I'd love it if you could just take us uh, for a few more songs. Yeah. I'd love to finish the evening. I'd love to. Uh, sort of with the, the healing and restorative nature of music, your music specifically. <laughs> he has to go get his guitar. Um, Folks, Thad Cockrell is joining us uh, live here at the Penthouse at Canlis Restaurant. Uh, this is the Bingo Show, and we thought uh, we would finish with a little music. And um, Thad, while you're setting up, I'm going to read one more. I'm going to read one more postcard. This one came to us and uh, touched a touched a soft spot in my heart. What's up, Canlis? We're ready for some quarantine fun. That's not the part that touched me. The part that touched me is the front there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a picture. It's a postcard from New York City. And of course, it's uh, Lady Liberty herself. And on the front uh, is a quote from the New Colossus. Uh, the New Colossus, pardon me. It was a poem written by Emma Lazarus. And it actually was the basis of a speech I gave with my little brother a number of years ago in New York City, uh, starting something off called the Welcome Conference. The Welcome Conference has... Uh, grown to be much bigger and better than our opening speech could ever have been. But I want to read you, uh, while Thad's setting up, a couple. In fact, I'm going to read the entire thing. I think it's, uh, I think uh, Ms. Lazarus hit the nail on the head. Um, and uh, sometimes I'm reminded of who we are um, by older words, uh, words that have stood the test of time. This is what's inscribed on the base of the Statue of Liberty. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning. And her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that twin cities frame. Keep, ancient lands, your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Lady Liberty and Emma Lazarus were speaking, of course, of hospitality and of the principles upon which our country was founded. Tonight we want to finish with a few songs from Thad Cockrell. Thad? From the west coast I see you I just want you to know I feel you Even when you're not close and When you're miles away I still see your face Bright Gonna divide us 
Yeah, but weaknesses, they're gonna keep us Bright in my night You Stars in my sky and Time and Space Cannot erase You restaurant thank you that's awesome hold up hold up hold up so straight hold on uh there was a line in there i loved uh strengths you know are gonna divide us a week uh hold on i'm gonna butcher it sorry uh strength what was that strengths you know are gonna divide us yeah weaknesses are going to keep us close will keep us close yeah what's what's that about what's i think that's what there? the whole song's about <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i think it's um you know if you want to connect, if I want to connect with people, uh, I can talk about my wins, but really, um, or my strengths, but really what it does is, is it creates so much distance because right. most people listening are wonder how they, how they can match, you know? And, uh, but if I were to like tell you like my failure or things that I've tried and failed at or the things that I'm insecure with, all of a sudden, huh. uh, you feel connected. Yeah, I do. You know, yeah. and it's it's about uh, the bravery of vulnerability, um, and stepping stepping into it. Yeah, I yeah. love it. It's, it's cool. It's scary stuff. I love that song. It's awesome. Thank you. It's thank awesome. you. Yeah. You got another one for us. Um, you got? Heaven waits for nothing less than giving in to faithfulness. I'll give you time, I'll let it rest, but I'm not down to give up yet. I don't know what I would do if all is lost, if I lost you. I don't know what I would do if all is lost, if I lost you. If I'm gonna go down, I wanna go down swinging. I wanna go down hard with all of my heart. Come and see 
me once again out across the great divide that separates you and I. I don't know what I would do if all is lost, if I lost you. I don't want to end that way, just stay. If we're gonna go down, well, I wanna go down swinging. I wanna go down hard with all of my heart. Yeah, if I'm gonna go down, I wanna go down swinging. I wanna go down hard with all of my heart. Oh, give it a chance. Give it a chance. If I'm gonna go down, I wanna go down swinging. I wanna go down hard with all of my heart. Yeah, if I'm gonna go down, I wanna go down swinging. I wanna go down hard with all of my Here's another song off of um, the the new album. It's called, uh, um, well, I originally released it on the Last Leagues album, and it was called uh, uh, Walking to a City. And um, I re-recorded it, and it is renamed, um, it is now uh, Fill My Cup. And... I think this is the right. This is the right. Harmonica switch. You just no, that's suddenly that's out. E. That's E. That's that's not going to go well if I do that, my no. friends. None of us will <laughs> like that. Um, so I'm. Uh, well, it's you renamed the song. I didn't know. Is, is that like it's like ships? You don't rename. It's your song. You can do what you want. You okay. Know? Uh, yeah. No, I've never yeah. had one, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like a restaurant. You know, if you wanted to <laughs> rename it. Uh, Brian wants to call it Brian's, which I think. is... Brian's. Yeah, you know, I mean, people I think are still going to come. You know. Uh, Will they? But <laughs> this song came to me um, in the middle of the night. I was sleeping. I did not want to wake up. Uh, and I, I wrote two songs in the stretch of maybe 20 minutes. Uh, and the first song came to me. I didn't want to wake up. I just wanted to keep sleeping. So I walked through my house, and I got a piece of paper and a pen with my eyes shut, walked back to my bed, eyes shut, and I wrote this song, and, um, and I sang it down. I shut the entire time, and I was like, okay, because I've made a deal. Come on, you wrote it down, I shut. Yeah. Come yeah. on, really? Yeah, yeah. And then I sang the melody because I didn't want to forget it, and yeah. I was like, okay, because I've made a deal a long time ago. Okay. Like, the, like, like when the song comes, I write. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was the deal. So then I'm, I'm laying in bed, and I'm, and I'm thinking about this song, and I'm about to go back to sleep, and this song comes to me. And when this song comes to me, I sit straight up out of bed. I'm like, oh, <sighs> we're writing the songs. Like, th okay, all right, you got my attention. So huh. uh, my favorite, my best friend growing up was my granddad named Henry. And, um, and when I went back through his record collection, they were full of gospel albums, except for one. And I'd been making like country records at the time, and Johnny Cash was like my favorite, right? Yeah, yeah. And in the midst of As all his albums... It was like all these like gospel records, and there was one country record, and it was Johnny Cash. No. Right? Cool. So I've had this like connection with Johnny Cash. And so I'm laying in bed, and when this song came to me, I heard, I, I know this sounds weird, I f felt Johnny sing, it's like sitting on the edge of the, I felt his presence on the end of the bed. Yeah. And I heard him sing to me the song. So when I first heard it, it was, it was very like Rick Rubin. Um, uh, 
I've been walking to a city. Yeah. I've been walking to a city I cannot see. And this is very Johnny Cash. Fill my cup, Lord, <laughs> and run it over. And give me love, give me joy. So that's how I, yeah. I heard it, you yeah. know? So I wrote this whole song. And you know, just just because I feel like if you're tuning in, this is Johnny Cash singing to you uh-huh. at the edge of your bed yeah. after you've woken up and written down a song. I've already written one, and this is the second one that I wrote within 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then so, all right. This is, this is, <laughs> I said thank you, and this is how I, uh, I, I sang it. I've been walking to a city I've been walking to a city I've been walking to a city I cannot see Walking through the darkness Walking through the valley I get tired and I get lonely It's hard to keep on believing That I'm walking to a city I cannot see Fill my cup, Lord child in me I've been talking to the voices trying to make friends with my choices and I've been looking for the doctor And I've been looking for that sugar Fill my cup, Lord And run it over Give me love, give me joy Give me peace Fill my cup, Lord And run it over I am your child in need I am your child in need. Come on over, Jason. It's just C enough. It's about to get good. Here we go.
I just, you know, I mean, why not? Why not? It's ours, it's ours to make up. Thank why you so not? much. Why it was not? beautiful. That was insane. Thank you. I, I, um, I'm curious, like in, uh, when, it wasn't a dream, but like in the, when Johnny Cash sitting on the edge, edge of the bed, was Jason also there? Was who? Jason. Because it's like you got Johnny, right? And then I'm just wondering if Jason oh. was accompanying Johnny. Was, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I was like. You're like, wait, who? <laughs> like, He's you not that one. famous There's, country there was singer. Jason. There was Jason Waylon Jennings. <laughs> Maybe one of the highwaymen I've never heard of. Jason, wow. There were really? five highwaymen. <laughs> hey, uh, do me a quick. I know you got like maybe one, maybe yeah. two more, right? But uh, do me a quick favor. Tell me about Breck. Tell me about this organization. Tell me oh, about your brother, man. because I know he's doing incredible work. I, I, um, I'm remiss for not bringing this up earlier in the show. Tell me, what, tell me about your brother. Well, first of all, Breck is my, my big brother, and he's not just my big brother. He's a mentor of mine, and oftentimes when I'm making music or I've got my head in the clouds, which I think in order to make you know, art, I think on some levels you kind of have to. Uh, and, um, and oftentimes I'll talk with Breck, and I'll hear his heart, uh, so Breck um, is a pastor of a church, and he was in the suburbs, uh, pretty affluent suburbs, and he moved his whole church, which was predominantly white at the time, no longer, uh, and his family into one of the poorest neighborhoods in Buffalo, yeah. um, New York. And what he didn't want to do is help from the the, the, the ivory tower, yeah. help from you know. So he moved in. And uh, it like has the whole package, the whole, the thing, whole his thing, his family, the church. Yeah, the whole and now that church, yeah. it was probably eighty-five percent white. It's now probably, uh, I would say, it's eighty percent um, people of color, and maybe fifteen percent, twenty percent. That's your brother. He's a yeah, he's it's awesome. incredible, he's incredible yeah. work. And so what he's done is he started um, an initiative called uh, Youth Impact uh, Co. And what they do is they help um, at-risk uh, teens. Um, who uh, are really living in the margins um, in this community, and he's helping them, or they've created a, a really a, a project that helps uh, kids deal with trauma, yeah. um, and and part of the dealing with trauma is is finding vocation and finding meaning and purpose, uh, and so he's doing training. Um, all kinds of really interesting things to help people discover who they are because I know for me and I know for you it's pro it's taken so much encouragement yeah. um, in my life from other people uh, I love this definition of encouragement it literally means to have other people's courage poured into you um, and that. I've had wow. along the way I've had so many people's courage poured, poured into, into me you. and without wow. that I wouldn't be where I am right wow. and so um, what he's doing is uh, he's creating opportunities for people to pour their courage into these kids to help them. You bet. Yeah, help them become it's their best awesome. selves. So it's really incredible work. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I got a chance just to hear a little bit of his story and um, of the journey that that was. It wasn't just like he woke up one day and was like, hey, we're going to do this. No. And to hear the struggle and the pain and the fear and the uncertainty that goes into um that I, and um, I tell you what, I was so inspired by it, and I was so um, I was encouraged by it, and I love your definite. It's, I guess it's not yours, but I love I love that. I love that it's that it's him pouring courage into us. And, yeah, um, that's yeah. cool. That's super I get that cool. a lot from him. Do you want to? Um, we one got more time song. for one more. Yeah, you awesome. want to you want to finish out with one this, more? This this is a song on an album of mine called uh, "To Be Loved," and uh, my friend Jeremy Beasley is here, and he was telling me before um, we started this that uh, his mother, Jane, had gone through two bouts of, of cancer. And uh, when she was going through cancer, that this album and this song uh, meant a lot to her, and which is one of the most incredible things as an artist and as a creator to, to make something that not just lifts me up and out of, but it lifts other people up and out of uh, their current situation. Um, so this goes out to, to Jane and all others who are walking through a difficult time. It's called Rosalind. I got this on backwards, here we go. You know, I'm only human.
by the rounded shoulders, kid And take that heart down off your sleeve And the way you walk around this town You think you own the corner on the market of a broken heart some news for you You're not the only one that stood there where you are Cheryl lovers come and go and it always seemed to leave wondering where you are Rosalind Don't you know the sun will shine on you again No matter how small the flame against the darkness Don't you know the light will win I can tell someone is handed it to you Early morning diner booth Cigarettes and coffee Doing things alone Meant for two and I remember when you said to me there will be someone who will set me free I know that's true You may think love fades away But it won't die It burns inside of me and you Me and you Rosalind Don't you know the sun will shine on you again No matter how small the flame against the darkness don't you know the light will win shoulders kid and take that heart down off your sleeve yeah. awesome uh, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen uh, that's Thad Cockrell his new album comes out in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're so honored to have you on. Brother, what an Thank encouraging you. It's, word. It's an Thank honor you to be here. for being here all the way out from Nashville. Yeah, and everyone watching, thank you so much. Yes. To, to those who won bingo, congratulations. We yes. will be here next week with you at 8 p.m. So excited to uh, have Sharon Irving and her father, Robert Irving III, joining us. Uh, we'll play some bingo, we'll listen to some music, and uh, we'll be back. We got this, Seattle. We'll see you then.